reaction and they got themselves. I mean, any point at which you get a 15 kill win means that you had yourself a good game and a ton of individual engagements that you won. You certainly can't take it for granted. Now, this is a much fairer circle. Mm -hmm. We're pretty much going straight diagonal here. Now, the question is, where does Avangar want to go? Do you wait and drop out at the end and go to Zaki, or do you try and go for Primorsk? Northern Lights out. Unity out. Seven out. Everything's back to normal. <laughs> at least for now. We can still see some surprises, but uh, I would expect to see a team in Avangar go up to Zaki this time around because they know that Tornado Energy is going to go Milta and that it's not contested up there. It wouldn't make sense for them to try and fly all the way down towards Primorsk. And that does seem to be exactly what they're doing now. 3D Max and Seek Org, they're going to be happy because they'll finally get to go here without too much yeah. of a travel. Yeah. They pretty much had every plane where it's like, ah, we got far <laughs> to go again. Is this really a thing? <laughs> Basique yeah. just going back to Gatka as well, so no problem at all for them. And Severni will be under power of Quick Math as usual. And Quick Math's a team that, okay, we get some knowledge that, oh, yep, we're going and see a Zaki team now. We'd have to be careful of that. Mm -hmm. But really, they generally be left uncontested for quite some time. One thing I'm thinking, though, is now we've had so many rough planes that has given, well, somewhat fair first circles. Not the last one, of course, but the other ones, sure. <laughs> yeah. Now we have a really fair plane. Does that mean the circle is going to be really rough? Or should we just say, you know what, let's just finish off in the middle? Well, you're the one that controls the simulation. Oh, we really want to go east today, don't we? East side, best side. East side? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But uh, nonetheless, that's where we're headed. And then uh, once again, this time around, of course, not just two teams. This time around, we have four teams inside the circle. So a bit more of them to work around. And also, I mean, honestly, when you have so many back-to-back -back games, sure, you can't do that much analysis and sort of recapping of what's happened over the day when you only have X amount of minutes between the games because these games really do come back-to-back. -back. Oh, yes. And But, but I mean, the fact that you have so many games and or at least go to the same area in the beginning... That also means that you kind of figure, okay, so these teams like to sit in this kind of edge of the map, and you get to figure where are teams and how can we sort of maneuver around them. And that's what it's about, right? Okay, they usually go for this kind of play. Mm. They might rotate at this time, roughly. This is when we see them leave before the circle comes in. And then they go, all right, well, I can bypass it by doing this. And also, if you see two teams in the kill feed, they might not even be close to you. If you see finish-offs coming in the kill feed, then you'll be like, oh, well, if these two teams are fighting each other, that must be because they're around here right now. You can kind of do the math on that yeah. right now. When you have so many games that end in the same area, it just makes it so much easier to kind of do the prediction as to how should we make our uh, rotation on out from here. Just knowing that they could be a little bit busier than usual, right? Keeps yeah. them preoccupied, helps you to understand if it is worth you going for or not. And a team that has gone back to their old style is going to be Northern Lights who are on your screens at the moment. They have decided to go to military base, but they've also got Drain issues. Okay, split over, exactly. but he's at least having a look around here and saying, all right, what's going on? Is there something I can play off of here? Maybe, maybe he's going to, because that's the thing, right? Of course, you always want to be cautious at all times in PUBG. I mean, there's yeah. never, you can never put down your guards, and that's what makes it so hard, because in other games, you get a little bit of a breather for a minute or a half in between rounds of certain games. But I mean, here, it's just 30 plus minutes of constant awareness and focus on what you're doing. And for, I mean, for no Northern Knights, they could say, oh, now well, we haven't been contested for a couple of days or for a little while on the bridge. Now we should just cross over. But then all of a sudden, out comes Drain. He's like, surprise! And starts shooting at them. Yeah, never let your guard drop because you will be punished for it. Yeah. Center, again, Stella with the skin of their teeth, made it into the finals and have had a little bit of a hard time really getting anything sort of going in the finals. Now, they have had some kill games. Sixy managed to sneak his way into the top six last game as well. But uh, we haven't really seen the Stella that we saw in this exact place right here in that school game. They got 14 kills mm. in a second place in that game. I mean, the Sokhtet Nam as well had a really, really insane game right there. And that's the type of game where I saw it and I was like, oh my God, Stella, you're starting to do what I know you're capable of. <laughs> And then I hoped it was going to spur into the finals because that was the final game. The hype is woohoo, and yep. they'll start playing next week. And then they've kind of fallen, not fallen back, but done, started doing the kind of mistakes that we saw them do in the beginning of the rounds earlier than that. Maybe they're waiting for the pressure to be oh, on and they're not qualified. Oh, that's what it and is. And then when the pressure comes in, that like switch just yeah, flips in their head sense. and they say okay it's time for us to come alive it's time for us to get down to business and then we see the stellar we saw at the yeah, end maybe but in all honesty it could just be because this is such a tight very contested it is super high skilled lobby and to think we're not even at pro league yet this is just contenders yeah. and it's this stack my oh my goes to show eu best region by the way 
No bias. No bias. <laughs> no bias at all. all. Hatrick, don't start flipping vehicles when I'm talking positive about you, man. What are you doing? I thought we had a deal here. <laughs> <laughs> and just, just for anyone that hasn't seen it yet, if you go onto the PEL underscore esports Twitter, the announcement for the talent for the Pro League has been done as well. It's going to be even more stacked when it comes down to it. It's going to be a fantastic event, and it's just a few days after we end yep. here. We're going straight from contenders into Pro League, and that is where you'll see some of the highest level players coming in. And also, you'll be able to compare what you've seen from some of these teams going into it and who you think should be there as well. And best thing being, you don't even have to subscribe and follow all new channels because it's happening right, right here. Right here. Same day of the week, just next week. Oh, yes. That's PUBG action for us across the board. It means that we won't be taking any rest, though, Toby. There will be plenty of action for us to watch straight off the bat. Yep. Crates coming in. Bold Eric, is it a bait crate? Is it what you want to go for? As far as I can tell on the map, there's no one around, so you might as well just get on down there and secure yourself some little three gear and some mm -hmm. weaponry with it. Next team now, though. Kelvin under a lot of fire. Trying to get inside the circle. X-Team has pretty been a team to try and hold up a rotation so far. But uh, interesting to see them start rotating out this early on. Of course, they did land early as well, so they got looted faster. I wonder if Tornado could change the name to Tornado X-Team. Yeah, because it's kind of annoying he has team in his name <laughs> when it's not a team, you know? <laughs> He's a solo team. But who is also going to be a solo player who's going off to his own death is going to be Calvin Klein as he's getting picked apart. Tornado went for the hunt on down to him. We need a homer firing up onto him at the same time. And guess what's also going on? We need a home. We're starting to engage off the back of that win. The confidence is flowing here. Solo player in the spectator screen. Rip dreams. So rude, James. So rude. Hey. <laughs> he should have stayed alive. Oh, that yeah, Pumpkin good call. Some more. Why do you die? You can just stay alive. That's the Come that's on, the bro. new strategy in PUBG. If you want to win, just stay alive, forehead. Do the Enzalenzo. <laughs> Simsy getting himself knocked, and a lot of teams starting to square up against one another. So this is actually kind of interesting because last game we've already lost more people than we did early on in last game. Oh yeah. And that's despite everything being so difficult with rotations and everyone being in the West. Now that there's actually, I mean, you're somewhat closer. That's when things starts going upside down because all of a sudden teams are like, oh, now we have all the room in the world. Maybe they do get a little more careless when there doesn't seem to be such a rough rotation coming in. Now Ness looking to try and shoot down on some of the players moving their way around. It's going to be reciprocity not far away. He can hear what's going on. Mm. He's just scoping out ready to say, all right, what's going on here? Not worth me to take any shots just yet, but I'm getting a lot of information to play off of. And interestingly enough, reciprocity have gone up north all the way around and similar to what we saw from them when we had a circle similar to this last yep. time. Yeah, and there's again, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm -mm. They know this compound is good to play for. If it works with the way that they like to scout forward and get themselves some vision on from it, then it do go back to that. But you see 2 Yuho up there. He has obviously spotted them, doesn't want to reveal his position just yet, and I do not think any of the reciprocity players know that he's there. Yeah, they've got no idea, and there's going to be plenty of teams starting to swarm around them. Quick math, Avangard just coming through the circle now. 3D Max and Seekor all close by. Everybody making their rotations on in. Sims, he got himself knocked just before, but he's back up on his feet, back up on the vehicle. Should be able to make his move even further towards the circle. They're still out, not inside just yet, just like Northern Lights here, but we'll have a chance to make a move on up. And look at that, this, Unity, full Control. I've never seen an active uh, gatekeep in the sort of position they're in right now. They're literally using the gates to gatekeep down here. They are waiting for Northern Lights to come across. They've seen that they're going to be taking some of the field area rather than just going across the road completely. This and Northern Lights are thinking, okay, maybe we don't want to go this way. It's maybe this quiet. is a bit too scary. Yeah. <laughs> like, there is no one here. We should expect this. And they are finally going to go past, but they're going up on this little bit of the west side. I don't know what the call was for Northern Lights to swoop around like that, but if it's perfect spotting them, Good freaking job, because that could have been the death of your entire team. Unity, they knew you were coming. They were just waiting for it, and you called it really smart. So, uh, well, I mean, the gates are open, at least for today. A true roadblock, and it didn't work out. Very good effort, though, from Unity, right, to put that into yeah, place, to yeah, try and yeah, wait for yeah, it to yeah. happen. You knew it was going to come. You had plenty of time to get inside the circle. Northern Lights, they stayed as long as they could there, and they hoped that everyone would have pushed away. But just having that awareness is so key. Problem is, Unique, Ubica, he's got all the information to pass on to them, and they're still going to walk into another set of firefights. Oh, look at this. They're just hurtling the sheep inside the yard right here. It's going to be so difficult. They make him drive in circles, standing, though, not able to land the shots. They have all the time in the world to shoot at him, but able, at least for now, to get into safety. Get out of that vehicle. It's going to start burning now. It's going to blow up in just a second as well. Somehow, perfect. Barely takes damage. Now headshots are starting to come in.
There, of course, for him to play there. And that nade is wow. beautiful from Jupesy. Hydrix eats one, <laughs> but it's a trading it out. Helps is just very much holding on there. That was a little bit awkward for him. A bit of a, a bit of a badminton, or like volleyball. Woo, throwing two balls at yep. the same time, and they both caught it. And Shiv it's goes on cleanup. Well, that's unfortunate. And Salenzo. Not got his own little camera, got a full camera, but he might be getting picked off here. He gets knocked down by Shiv, and Shiv is just hungry on the hunt for all of these kills. As Unique lose two players, and this time they lose it to Unity, yeah. who are the last ones to come through, but they're ready and waiting for it. The circle centered up somewhat, and the teams that were on the edges, they have to figure, how do we make our move on forward? And it was such a tough move for a lot of them. There's a lot of driving in the open, and that's this area of the map. If you don't have a compound, you are in the open, and there are only so many areas you can really play from, from the... Uh or from the open, because it's open, really open around here. Oh, if, it, if Enselenza dies, I'm going to miss an Enselenza camp. It's well, not going to be the same without him. I mean, Six is still alive, right? If he goes two, two games in a row, then we'll get Six to camp. Isn't that what you said? Okay, yeah, we'll give them that. We'll have to have that. <laughs> <laughs> they are shooting as to speak of the devil. Start spraying over towards Simsy, but not able to connect the shots. Neither Mailman, though, taking a shot to the chest, down to half HP. Now Northern Lights just seem to be driving into danger no matter where they go. They're yeah. just trying to find, like, I would just like a spot that we could sit over and not have to deal with all of this because this is getting annoying. Now. And that's the annoying thing, right? That's even more so annoying because they want to stop somewhere to scout. Fakex doesn't want to get himself knocked, of course, but that happens every now and again. But they want to stop somewhere to scout. They want to get some info off of it, too. But there's just no room oh, at no, all. Oh, no, Basku. He has an aid in hand. It's going to come flying oh, on wow. in. Ooh. <laughs> Perfect. 10 out of 10 right there. And he's not getting any other kills. Oh, no. Oh, rip. Oh, he did get one. He did get Miracho. Mask was like... He's like, come on, I did all that great work. And now Paige is under fire as well. But either way, what a beautiful name. What a beautiful yeah. way to get it done. And Northern Light is going to be kicking themselves because they just couldn't find a spot. Too late to the party. Nowhere for them to hide. And now they're paying the price. But the deep, he's not finished with it. He's saying, all right, you can do that to my teammates, but I'm going to step up and bring the pain myself. Yeah, they tried to do a wide 2-2 two -two split, get some info in the center. They probably wanted to go for the um, for the Wizard Town that Jamboe was already positioned in, but could not get there and was forced to try and turn around. Didn't work for them at all. New circle popping. Oh, yes, not endings. Mm. You, got, you got it, James. You got what you wanted. You got what you want. I mean, maybe. You could still shift out. Of course, next circle has to exclude that amazing river up there. But uh, is it going to go into the field, or are we indeed getting James's amazing... I know there are other casters, demon out there, loving these city endings, but look at it right now. Look at all these teams. They know, they know there's nothing more. We're going to go as Naya. We're going to go there right now. Wow. That is a full charge over to Yasnaya. Scoon's going to find himself getting picked off and taken down by seven. Great work there as they rolled up on him. He was picked apart, and now his teammates have gone in already. But that's not going to be enough. The very first game of the entire tournament, actually, we had a Yasnaya ending where Shiv almost 1v4 yep. quick math. Almost 1v4 quick math. Didn't end up happening in the end, but close enough. Okay, bro, deep. Stayed in that vehicle for a bit too long and still are securing themselves two points off of it. And look at this. Everybody is saying, yep, yes, Naya, that's the place we're going. And look at this next circle. If it shifts out of his Naya again, that would be amazing. And look at Avangard. They're sat there watching this all unfold and like, all right, boys, you can just sit there. You can pick each other apart. We'll come in when the chaos is over because yeah. you know what? We quite like staying alive. Hey, guess who's still up? Ensolenso. Ensolenso is still... And he's just... Oh, no, he has pills. He's no, he's got his teammate. Oh, okay, okay. He's so it does, doesn't count. <laughs> he doesn't get the camp before he's actually alone, you know? Tizarin, blast on, one, two games today, trying to see if they can get some more up against the winners of the last game. Rita and Lipson trying to do some damage over towards them. Lipson might get the angle on towards blast them, and there you go, down he goes immediately. And this is why I love the city ending, because you get craziness like this. It's all going on, and we need a home. They are not slowing down. They're looking to bring the pain. They're bringing their A game, and I can just see them hungry for a second win. Welcome to close quarters. It's not close yet, but it very much could be in one minute and seven seconds should this next one go even further in on this city. It's a place that uh, we might like, but the players sure aren't big fans because it's so hard, first of all, to scout anything because as you see right there, look at our window, people will be shooting at you. And to yeah. move forward, you just don't have any info. Every time you move, you're moving blind. The teams I've got the most respect for at the moment are Avangard, Desperados, 
Zuck and Nam and Seacorp because they're the teams that are standing on the outside, right? They don't want to engage yet. They know the city's been swarmed completely yeah. and there's not going to be much room. And even if you do find yourself a building, you're probably going to be shot at and maybe lose one player anyway. So hold yourselves out, wait a little bit and see where it goes next because then you can decide it. And actually, there might be some more room after these teams continue to battle out against exactly. each other. You know you're late to the game, just uh, set it out. No reason to try and contest it when you know there's already like a billion teams in there. And how many times do we see this, right? Where we could get something where it's very stuck mm -hmm. together and teams just force their way in, throw the cars in, try and jump out, and they always yeah. lose one or two players. It never works out well. Doesn't at all, but might have to, though. They might just have to. We'll know five seconds <laughs> from now. Where, or oh where, are we ending this game? Is it yes, Naya? <laughs> well, yes. it could be. Come it on. could also shift further east out towards Desperado, but uh, at least for now, we have 45 people alive, and I'm going to throw it out there and say there's a solid 30 of them inside Yes, Naya. Yeah, that's probably about right. This is looking a little bit awkward for any Everyone. teams that still have to try and <laughs> fight their way in. This is like a, some sort of like purge movie. I guess the good thing about all this is that all the teams that weren't inside the city actually can stay outside the city yeah. in the positions they're in. So it's not yet the worst scenario, but once you get that whole, if you're in, you're screwed, if you're out, you're not, or vice versa, then, uh, well, that's, that's, that's when uh, something is going to hit the fan. Now, I'm interested to see how Avangar are going to approach this, because they're the ones working their way down the hill at the moment, right? Mm. They're going to be like, coming from the northern side where there's no other teams coming from that side. Yeah. And it's actually where the most like buildings are empty at the moment. But still pushing into it, you're going to be very exposed. So where do mm. they go from here? Because they haven't really got cover now. If the next circle shifts into the city, they can sit up there for a while. They have trees and they have the vehicles up there too. If the next circle goes into the city, they just have to send it bank center into those northern apps up there. I mean, that's all they can do, honestly. Yeah. Evan Guy is a good fragging team. They are still four guys to life. We've seen them. I mean, as one of those teams that can sort of find the calm and the chaos and have clear communication. I don't know how they do it, but have clear communication even in crazy city endings and come out on top of it but uh, for now stay up there hope the circle goes to you because if teams have to go out of the city in the field like that you are in the best position in the universe now some of the battles are starting to begin as 3d max managed to get themselves one they're getting knocks in there as well tom is gonna fall and besiktas they're gonna be overrun not a whole lot more they could do there still one player up though ultra trying to do everything he can and honestly i mean if this circle's just keep going towards him could be the game where he just sits there until the very end and gets himself into a good position Cass taken down and out in Salenzo and peltish unified and taken out the guy up by the tree this is our house you ain't getting in Ooh, Tosero getting knocked in yellows. So that's actually kind of dangerous because Astro and securing the oh, knock wow. fake and the other guys, they're not anywhere near him. So um, That's some distance as well. It is. It is. Good hatchet coming in. Tosero peeking a bit too wide there. Maybe not sure exactly how it unfolded, but fortunately for fake, we'll be able to come up and get the rest on up. An important one too because that's the compound they don't want to lose. We have to hold on to it. Maybe overextending himself just a little bit too much there. Zen right on the edge, but they are actually going to lose one player to get knocked down, at least for now. Unique going to chime in with it. And again, it's a lot of these distance fights, right? This is where yeah. the DMRs are really going to come into action, along with the snipers. All the distance. And look at the view that Avangar have from up there. The perfect vision over the city. Look at this. I mean, this is this is not that bad right now. They're probably sitting at, uh, at a solid average of one and a half building per like between every team, but uh, believe me, if this next circle goes into the city again, first thing is we won't lose a lot of players inside, but everyone that tries to make their way in are going to be completely done for. Well, look how smart that is. He gets Tozera, yep. gets him on the right, brings him back over. Now we're just going to group up. We're not really worth taking that risk when we know Avangar's still not one of the teams in the city and they're that close. Exactly. That's the only really position that they should be afraid of. So should the next circle go over towards the yellow, they can drive up there again, knowing that Avangar will have to leave the high ground. Because as long as that high ground position is in play, they cannot stay up there for sure. Digzy is hungry for more kills. I just keep tapping that spot like, <laughs> come on, someone walk in front of this. <laughs> and the next circle's gonna pop, and we go out a little bit half and half here. Desperados. A lot of fields over towards the east. Desperados, yeah, move, in a very move, nice spot. Move, move, move. Thank you, call the mentor. Start going, start going. Get up there, get up there. You know it's free. You wanna get up and get that position. <laughs> So did Nam, they're saying it as well. Well, we gotta go somewhere, and somewhere they're going. Instead, send the Vasco under a lot of fire. Smash baby from up above, trying to do the damage needed. I will now take it down, flipping his vehicle. Not a whole lot more he can do. And Orange, no. Well, only back inside is still check. <laughs> I did manage to get three players in, only losing Ivel in the end. But this is what it was about, right? Where you were saying for them to rush in is 
anything that wasn't just quite in the city and a little bit more central, fight for it now. Desperados have done a 2 1 split at the they moment. They sent Colgamenta in. Yeah, exactly. I thought he was going to go up to the houses up on the northern side, but Colgamenta and company decided for him to go into the city instead. Ubika taking out the last remaining player in Besiktas. as it's going to be ultra down, and all of a sudden these fights are starting to escalate. Smash Bay and Polotero, one last game, and now they're getting in the kill feed again. Yeah, and they're taking down Zen this time. They're forcing their way out of it, and they're actually going to completely swarm the rest of the players from Zen. It's just Paige left alive. Is he going to be able to hold on here? Did these did Stella actually scout this house and spot that it was free? Because if so, they just pulled off a 200 IQ rotation. So smart play coming in from Stella. Yeah, they, they would have seen as well. Exactly. Potentially that Tozera got pulled away from Really, it. really smart play. No, that's not the same team. That's what's so impressive. They were sitting on the west side and they rotated all the way around the north and came up and took the position on the yellow house. So really fortunate for them that Tozera and Desperados didn't go up here. And they will hopefully for them, the Luxurgo will go up there once again. Because if not, oh, that's going to be a long drive in the open. Avangard got themselves back in it as well. Finally approaching it, but they've got inside games close by. 37 people alive. This is going to be one hell of a finish off, no matter where it goes. If it goes out, it's going to be chaos in the next circle. If it doesn't, then it's going to be chaos in the final circle. At this point, every second is going to be potential chaos. It's all going to be who's going to pop yeah. who, who's going to potentially run up on the other players there. As Unity's Orange Snow. He's found himself a very small part of the road to hide behind there. He's going to chill and wait for now. He's going to, okay, what else is going on around me? I've got cover, I've got protection, but I am still alone. And that's the thing right now, you can see right here, despite everyone shooting, there's room for everyone. Yeah. Everyone can fit because you have the city and so so many teams can sit next to each other without really a need or a chance to do anything off of it. But believe me, once that next circle pops, no matter where it goes, chaos will commence. Fake taken down. Nates will be thrown in towards him as well. Does it bounce over? Oh, just bounces off the broken wall right there. Wants to crawl back in towards his teammates, crawling around trying to dodge potential bullets coming in. We'll live to see another day though. New circle. Where, oh, where are we going? Jump away, Stella, guys, you guys just pull up an insane rotation. Same thing for having us staying up there, never going into the city. That's going to grant you so much now. And for everyone else, well, good luck. <laughs> the confidence here from We Need a Home, though, right? Right up in the open. Set out, looking to put the firefight on. They're taking a few shots at Seacorg. They're happy to go in and try and engage with some of this. Chaos will commence, and it's going to commence right now. And this is a new thing. Shift going down immediately when Quickmath tries to push him. That's not something we've seen in the Asnaya before, but next level up is going to be Haxedi. At least the next step for Quickmath to enter should they want to somehow make their way in towards this circle because there's going to be so many teams shooting at them when they try to. But Dress finds himself knocked down, but he's not going to be killed off just yet. X-Team is able to reply, and that's exactly what you want to see take place. Lips in as well. We need a home constantly getting kills. That one win is just giving them like, okay, we're ready. We're feeling it. We're hitting our shots. They're sitting in a position with the high ground there with the rooftop they can shoot from where they can just do everything they want. Ness, where, where can you get yourself? He's trying to drive far up north. Get himself up to something Ooh. that looks like comfort. And reciprocity, 14th place for them. We talked about them being human. They are after all, but this ending, of course, not really the easiest one to play around anyway. Yeah, there's so much more of like finding the exact pivotal position to yeah. play from here. Stella's looking good for them, but that can be changed going into the next circle. I haven't gone in the same position. No one can go center. Yeah, okay, Millman taking down casualties now. Not a whole lot more they can do from that. They have to cross the road, and it's such a dangerous push across to Yubika. Trying to hold the angle. Pelt is just waiting for him, though, and Salenzo is going to be the one to finish him off. Look at this push across for Comfort and for X-Team. It's going to be so difficult. Frank, Harry, only advice. They're waiting for them. They're not going to pull up on this. Before they know it's there, Sunsi pulling up on the compound here, but Cold Mentor from far off is saying, boys, I'll grant you the benefit of helping you out a little bit here as long as I can also get the finish off. You see Jammer where he's like, oh, I want to get it. Oh, no, I didn't get it. Unfortunately, I can run back to the side. <laughs> Run away, don't stand out for too long. Cold Mentor yeah. is there to pick you off and Paige. Still alive for Zoken now. Let's run around the corner, but he was spotted. Balas is well taken down, not a whole lot more he could do from this position. And now, believe me, we're going so far into the open for all these teams, it's far from over yet. X team down, Tornado Energy out in 12th place. Orange Snow down to the circle, and Page goes out as well. So many teams eliminated in about five seconds mm -hmm. of that fight going on. 
We need a home still in a good spot down on the south side of the circle. Cole Dementor, the only player left alive for Desperados here. And there we go. Stella's going to have to move. Avangar are going to have to move. Seacork are going to have wow. to move. This is rough. This only really benefits inside games. The only, I was going to say, the only team that is getting anything off of this is inside games. They have the only two buildings. Well, I guess Alenso Alenso as well is in a, is in a somewhat, <laughs> somewhat decent one-story house there. But everyone else has to find cover in this field where there is none. And as you can see, sure, Evanga has two bikes, Lord but this Lord. is what happens when you go on them. So many teams are going to start shooting towards you. There's going to be nothing else to play around. You're just finding a little dip to hide in between and prone yourself yeah. down, but that's still only two of your players out of four managing to get inside of it. And they're under a lot of fire from Stella. They want to make sure they can get them down. Yanoctiv and Maxis, all the needs to start putting some pressure on towards Stella. Because as we talked about Stella, they have to rotate out of the go vehicle blown. Smart decision by them. Got to get themselves some more non explosive cover. And Maxis saw. Now making his way on over as well. And an Octave. Four guys alive for Avangar oh. here. Make that three. So far, an Octave might be able to get rest. Yeah, inside aren't looking to challenge it just yet. Smoke's coming in. Edelweiss has to make the run on off. Jupsik and Peltish. They want to get up to Insolenso, but how, oh, how are they going to get there? Stella have just run straight into the open. Gone in the dip as well. A little bit further down from where Avangar are. So it's going to be all about that cover that they can get. To get the rest of my just have the time to as well. Ness, though, had a good position up there, but forced to make a move and not hit it. Ain't gonna happen. 18 remaining now. This is a true firefight on a lot of teams' hands. Where do they go? How do they position themselves? And what space can they find? Because they're not going to find the bombs. And inside games haven't really had a need to fight anything so far, so nades and smoke should still be available for them. Utility as well. You see them all up there. Phantom, a solo player alive for 3D Max. What? That's not something you see too often. Trying to stay put by the apartments. Outside of the apartments, don't want to crawl through the forward, but will he be allowed to or not? Only time will tell. It's like he said, I want my cam back. Enzalenzo, <laughs> I'm having a cam now. This is my camera. Enzalenzo can still get it, but at least for now, Peltish. Oh, watch out. Oh. That's blue. That's blue. Also got to give it to We Need a Home. I mean, they've been in here for a while now, and seven teams remaining still alive and kicking. Now, they seem to have a good understanding of where this might be going. We have 16 people alive and only two inside the circle. This really wanted to go out of the city, that's for sure. Encelenzo is still dealing so much damage. His teammate's nowhere near him, yet he's able to get the kills. The knock comes in onto Encelenzo's teammate. Belsic is going to be really struggling to get out of this one. The Molotov goes down, but either way, he's just going to try and crawl his way through. And a lot more you can do. Desperados will get finished off as well. Colton Mentor was the last hope in trying to make it in to the top five. Did not happen. Moment now under fire too. And I like the Evangar position. They've been able to stay put in the top for a while, but they cannot allow for inside games to take too much control here. That's exactly what Inside Games is looking to do. Once again, we need a home up on 10 kills. Top They're going to be ditches. racking up these points, and they've already made it to the top four position as quick map for the next team to go down. Inside Games are their biggest threat alongside Avangar. Everything else is up to Phantom to see what he can do and hold on. Inside Games getting ripped apart by Avangar, and it is all kicking off. Avangar have taken this central dip position, and they're trying to hold on to it. Avangar daring to push down Polotherok, trying to grant himself some cover. This position is going to be so difficult, because right now, at least, Sam P cannot spot over towards then Pixel it can't do anything from there either. Once again, Avangar, a lot of kills coming in from them. It's going to be a 4v3 for them with Pixel alone in the middle. Avangar, they've got the lead in numbers. Can they hold on to this? They're all prone and ready. They've got to keep <laughs> moving. Pixel's got the house at least to hide in, but he will have to move from it. Imagine this. Two wins for Unity, two wins for We Need a Home. That would be an insane way to finish the day. And inside games as well, they had a win on day number one. Want to get in the mix here too. They're active, man. They're landing oh, these shots yes. today. Oh, yes. MEA, they are coming in, and they're coming in hot. Maxis all goes down to the circle. Lips in that nade. If he can throw it, oh, if it's on wow. point, that could be a double coming in for him right there. Snoopy is going to go down, that's for sure. <gasps> what? It's not what? How do you not get knocked by the nade? So much damage you bet with potential from the grenades. More nades barreling out. Pixel comes into it as well. And he's going to be able to do some extra damage, but he's eating it himself. He has to drop down. He's trying to play it smart. Avangar get eliminated. Pixel, what else can he do here? Retail L up ready and doing it. And it goes once again in favor of We Need a Home. Back, back to back to wins back. and 14 kills. They are right.